Hi, Melissa here again to give you some quick tips on how to inexpensively plan a costume and set of props for your role. It really doesn't take that much effort to enhance your character through what you wear and what you interact with, um, but it does make it a lot more fun. And of course, I love making props. I love using my hands and being creative. Not everyone wants to do that to the degree that I do. I used to want to be like a professional prop maker when I was like 12. So you don't have to go to that degree, but I would love to see you try to do a little bit of creativity and I promise you'll have fun with it. Uh, the biggest thing to keep in mind is to plan ahead. Don't wait until the week before your performance because more time will just allow you to, you know, the opportunity to keep your eye out for things around the house, just get some ideas, make some lists on things to use. Um, this is also why I announced casting over a month before opening night to give you that extra time if you need it. So, costumes. Top tips. Number one, we're using Zoom, so you can stay seated and not worry about your lower half if you like, but if your character has a lot of action, you may want to get up out of your seat, and if you do that, you might want to have your lower half costumed, so keep that in mind. Um, number two, thrift stores go a long, long way at a very low price. Uh, there's one near me that has like all of their clothing items for 75 cents each. It is a steal and it's awesome. Uh, number three, borrow. I am a minimalist, a pretty big minimalist. Um, so I don't like to buy a bunch of stuff just for one use. Though if I feel like it might be handy for another production or Halloween costume or something, I'll buy it. But borrowing clothing or prop items from friends can really help reduce costs and effort. So that's a good one to keep in mind. Props. Top tips. Number one, unlike costumes, props can get pretty numerous, especially if you're really into making them like I am. So first of all, focus the most on signature props, the ones that might get used the most or have the most importance to the story or the character. You'll also want to set up your performance space in front of you to lay out all of your props clearly and easy to grab on opening night. Uh, number two, uh, paper, packing tape, duct tape, uh, cardboard, stuff like that goes a long way. And it's all stuff you likely already have in your house. Now, I work with paper for my day job, but I don't think that getting creative with paper is something that you cannot do. Now, I looked up this tutorial for this really cute origami hat that I made for my daughter so that I could save $8 on a real ball cap because she's only going to use it for one scene. And like, if all of your props, if you're into a bunch of them like I am, if all of your props are about 5 to $8, it's going to get expensive real quick. And this tutorial was actually pretty easy to follow. So if you get creative and think outside the box, you can save yourself a lot of money and still bring fun details to your character. Number three, if you want to up your prop game a notch, use bakeable clay. So I use a uh, Fimo brand polymer clay from Hobby Lobby. Um, for small props, like small interesting detailed props that are about the size of your hand, um, here's a very detailed example. I know you're gonna think like, whoa, that's too much for me. But I made this uh, police badge out of bakeable clay um, and then painted it. Uh, for a Halloween costume. So like that's not really the level of detail that I would expect you to do, but I just wanted to show it because it's fun. Um, and, but for a simpler example, um, I used this black polymer clay to make this raptor claw, which is super fun. And it's actually fairly easy to work with and you probably don't even really need to buy any tools. Like you can use a safety pin or a pencil or a pen or something like that to add some detail two small props like that. But you can do a ton with clay, and a small pack like this is $2 at Hobby Lobby. So that's awesome. And final tip number four, mixed media. This may be getting really outside the box, and maybe it takes some practice to think this way if you want to even think this way. But I just wanted to show a couple examples where I combine materials to get a believable enough look for the prop on Zoom, of course. Like, nothing really has to be super, super detailed unless you really hold it close to the camera. Um, but it also kind of helps to save money and time if you find creative ways to combine things. So I wanted to show you the Iocane powder that I made for our production of Princess Bride, which is basically rolled up paper, a stick, and some powdered sugar. So this is just a piece of paper rolled up and kind of taped, glued on this on one edge, and so is this one. 
and then I just kind of looked meticulously through my yard for a piece that felt like the right angle as far as the stick um, to what I saw on the film. And then I just put a little bit of adhesive glue at the bottom uh, and stuck it in some powdered sugar. So there's my Iocane powder. Inhale, but do not touch. And it was super fun to use. Like I just, I felt like Wesley. Like you can't be Wesley without offering someone some Iocane powder, right? Okay, so the next one I have is this fun headset. It's just a black headband with uh, some paper and gaff tape. And the paper I just kind of made like a round um, rectangle basically here, cut some slits into it. So it kind of made the round shape uh, in the best way for the part right here and just covered it with duct or, uh, gaff tape. And it has, there's a roll of gaff tape here and then just kind of wadded up here. So it has like this perfect headset look that works really, really well. So that was really fun. And if you're really into this performance thing, it may also be good to organize your prop storage so you can easily reuse for future productions. That's actually something I still need to do. And that's it. I encourage you to challenge yourself with prop making and costume composing and just get creative. This is my new weird hobby anyway, and it could be yours too. We can have weird hobbies together. <laughs> so. Anyway, I think you'll really enjoy this process. And if you need any ideas, definitely hit me up because I've, I've wanted to be a Hollywood prop maker since I was 12 and I never got to do it. So I'd love to help you out if you, if you need any help. Let me know.